All right, write a JavaScript function to find a sum. <laughs> uh, what? What is going on? This thing is so slow. Oh my gosh. That is unacceptable. So I went out and bought two flagship consumer GPUs, one from Nvidia, the RTX 5090, and one from AMD, the RX 7900 XTX. There are a couple of differences between them. This one's bigger. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, Blackwell generation, brand new technology, GDDR, GDDR, G, GDDR7, GDDR7, 32 gigabytes of memory here, which will allow us to run larger models. This is also over $3,000, even though they said it was going to be cheaper. This one is under $1,000. It has 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which is actually pretty good. It's last generation's RDNA 3 technology, but it's currently the flagship GPU that AMD offers. They do have the RX 9070, which I'm making a separate video about. So check that one out as well. But for now, this is the top of the line. And we're going to see if it's worth getting the MD because the price difference is huge. But the final tokens per second in your code editor might be the same. You might not even notice. And to test this out, I've built two of the exact same identical systems here. These are open benches so I can do these kinds of things for you folks. Same motherboard, same CPU, same everything, just different GPUs. And let's go. <laughs> Yes. Look how nice that GPU looks. Look at that beauty. RGB all the way on that AMD. RGB most of the way here. And it even has a little LCD screen to display your own little graphic. They really went all out on that one. Now, if you're wondering what the heck is going on here, well, we're going to be running large language models locally because you want to keep your data private. And hardware matters in this case because running these things takes a lot of hardware power. The faster memory, the better. And by that, I mean memory bandwidth because these are not unified memory systems like Apple Silicon, for example. There is a little bit of a hit, although it's not noticeable once everything is inside the GPU. And that's why we're going to be limited to having models that are smaller than 24 gigabytes so they can fit inside the memory fully. So that's a little bit of a handicap for the AMD already because this one has 32 gigs of memory. But the other big hit is the memory bandwidth. The Blackwell 5090 has over 1,700, 1,700 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. The AMD has 960. But you know what else has 960? The NVIDIA. 5080. So we'll check that out too. Now all these gadgets do get pretty expensive. So before we go on, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. So these days I'm constantly flipping between models. GPT-40 for notes and email, Claude for code refactors, Flux for image generation, Kling for video, four tabs, four bills, and counting. Enter chat LLM teams. There's one dashboard that houses every top LLM and route LLM picks the right one for you for a given task. O4 Mini High for fast answers, Claude Sonnet 3.7, for coding, Gemini 2.5 Pro for big context, and even adds GPT 4.1 before ChatGPT has it. Chat with PDFs and PowerPoints, then generate decks and docs and do deep research all in the same chat. Need human sounding copy? The humanized toggle rewrites text to beat AI detectors. Spin up agents and run code with AI engineer. I built my first bot in just minutes. Track artifacts, create GitHub pull requests, and debug from the same interface. Need visuals? No problem. Use Flux or Ideogram and Recraft for images, Kling, Luma, and Runway for video all built in. And the kicker is just $10 a month, less than one premium model. Head over to chatllm.abacus.ai or click the link in the description and level up with Chat LLM Teams. First off, LM Studio. And since we're doing a speed comparison of these cards relative to each other, we're not caring about the size of the model right now. I just want to get speed. And also we don't care about the quality of the output. That's a very different topic for a different video. The bottom here is the machine on my right. That's the RTX 5090. And we're going to offload all layers of this Gemma 3, 4 billion parameter model to the GPU. Let's load that up. And we're going to do the exact same thing up on top. This is the Q4 quant, so four bit quantization of that model offloading everything to the GPU as well here they both fit just fine in the GPU let's take a look at that GPU here in task manager so you'll see that we got 24 gigabytes total five being used up by that model right now while it's loaded also about five being used but out of 32 on the RTX 5090 nice write a story so race folks let's go boom <laughs> oh 
That noise is coming from the XTX. Holy cow, the Nvidia machine is done already. They spit out about the same number of tokens, but the RTX 5090 is so much faster. Wow. Now many of you wanna see a really long prompt, so here you go. This uh, is about a thousand tokens input just under that. And the long prompt will allow us to see how prompt processing will affect this whole operation. And let's go, boom. I mean, it's not that much prompt processing going on here, but certainly more than a hello world. And it did slow us down just a little bit on the Nvidia side, 196 tokens per second there and 112 tokens per second on the AMD machine. Do it again. And subsequent prompts also will take into account the entire conversation that you've had up to a certain limit, up to the token limit, and to submit that as context as well. Let's go, boom. So it should be a little bit slower this time. 183 tokens per second on NVIDIA, and we're still going on the AMD box. Wow, that's a huge difference. It's fast enough though, it's 101 tokens per second there. So you gotta really weigh, is it really worth the extra few thousand dollars for this one? I don't know, you tell me. And I got a little secret to share with you. If we go to runtime over here in LM Studio, now LM Studio uses Llama CPP as the back end, but it can use different engines. It can use the CPU, Llama CPP, which means it's running on the CPU. It can use something called Vulkan, which sits between the hardware and the software, and that's what we've been using. We weren't even using CUDA here. Let's try CUDA. So you can switch over here. I need to actually install CUDA because it's not installed yet. Let's update that. We're gonna see if CUDA is actually faster because Vulkan did really, really well on the new RX 9070 XT. You should see that other video. It's <laughs> impressive. But after this video, okay? After this video, you need to know what happens here on Linux. I've selected CUDA here in LM Studio and let's go. 190 tokens per second. So Vulkan initially was actually a little bit faster than CUDA. I did not expect that at all. I'm gonna do it again. It's still faster than the AMD chip. 189, that's consistent at least, but it's not as fast as Vulkan. Let's try this other CUDA. I don't know why there's two of them. One is CUDA 12 and one is just CUDA. It's probably gonna be exactly the same though. 192, very close. So yeah, the difference in tokens per second is huge here. I'm gonna quit this. If I run Olama here in Windows, I'm gonna be able to uh, get some more information about what's going on. So I'm gonna do Olama run Gemma 3, and then the verbose flag is gonna give us some output that's gonna be useful. We're gonna compare a few things here. And let's do a prompt right in line, and boom. <laughs> okay. They look about the same, but the NVIDIA one is way faster. Way, way faster. Wow. 223 tokens per second on the NVIDIA box, 121 tokens per second on the AMD box. I'm gonna run this one more time because that model was just getting warmed up. Now it's warmed up, now it's in memory, so it's gonna be a little bit better example of what's actually gonna happen. Now the tokens per second might not change. 220 and 122. Let's go again. This is actually surprising to me. I had to rerun it a couple of times to see if this is repeatable. And I'm doing it yet one more time because, what, CUDA error? <laughs> okay, well CUDA gave me an error. So I wouldn't even complete that, but uh, the AMD one finished just fine. Let's try that again. CUDA error, there it goes. So this is really shocking to me and it's repeatable. This is the fourth time I ran this. The tokens per second eval rate is about the same. This is much faster, of course, almost two times faster than the AMD for the Nvidia box. But the prompt eval rate, which is the prompt processing, that one is much, much faster on the AMD. Really surprised to see that. I'm gonna run Olama setup one more time, just to make sure that all the right libraries for CUDA are installed with Olama. And let's do this one more time, because I expected the prompt processing rate to be much faster on the Blackwell GPU. Nope, nope, still the same, still the same. Yeah, we're pretty consistent with the eval rate and the prompt eval rate. So let's head over to Linux. Olama run Gemma 3 verbose and boom. Okay, okay. Now they both started out fresh. If you didn't notice that, the Nvidia one started printing out faster. Let's run this again to see what happens here when it's already warmed up and in memory, boom. 
Okay, NVIDIA one is clearly faster, even faster than on Windows. Hint, hint, those that are wondering which one is faster. Same exact model, by the way. But the AMD one is a little bit slower on Linux. That's really weird. And we're getting repeated results here too. Ah, there's that eval rate on NVIDIA. Why am I rooting for it so much? I don't know. It's so much more expensive, but this aligns with my expectations. 248 tokens per second eval rate, which means the token generation. That's how fast it actually makes the tokens or writes my silly story about Silas and Finn. I never read these things. And this one had a prompt eval rate of 1,500 tokens per second. Over here, we're getting 99 tokens per second generation, but only 655 tokens per second for prompt processing. Let's go one more time. Okay, so the prompt generation is exactly the same as before. We're very consistent here. The NVIDIA board is two and a half times faster in Linux than the AMD machine. I'm gonna give the AMD machine some credit here for the prompt eval rate faster than Nvidia, consistently faster. Now, while that's generating, the AMD machine is drawing 440 watts of power and the Nvidia machine is drawing 550 watts of power. So about hundred watts more for the Nvidia GPU. And yeah, the AMD machine is still faster at prompt processing. Now, anecdotally, Quen 2.5 Coder is actually a pretty useful developer LLM. A lot of people have good luck with it, even more than Quen 3 from what I hear. More testing TBD. So, Quen 2.5 Coder 32 billion parameter model is one I often turn to, and that one is 20 gigabytes in size, which is actually perfect because it'll fit in this one with 24 and this one, 32. So I grab that one with Olama, Olama run Quen 2.5 quarter and it downloads it. Let's also add a verbose flag to it. And we're gonna kick things off with, <laughs> I know you love this. Write a story prompt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go cry about it in the comments. <laughs> All right, I'm not being lazy. I can easily go and grab a longer prompt, but I don't think it matters that much for the test that we're trying to do here. Let's go, boom. Look at that, whoa. I'm in trouble. Why is this happening right now? <gasps> 775 watts being used by that NVIDIA GPU, folks. That was my poor little UPS making all that noise because I got both these systems hooked up to that UPS. Okay, okay, all right. If I can run them at the same time, I'll run them individually. But for now, here are the numbers. 62 tokens per second on the NVIDIA machine. Prompt eval rate, 265 tokens per second. On the AMD, 25 tokens per second for generation, but over 500 tokens per second for the prompt eval rate. Gonna run that one more time, but one at a time this time. The power use on the AMD is about the same. We're at 470, it was 440 before. So just a tiny bit more. And the prompt eval rate went to 5,000 tokens per second. Come on, that's probably just a little fluke, a little spike there. Wow, I just did it again. And over 5,000 tokens per second for the prompt eval rate on the AMD. Let's do the Nvidia box, come on. 770 watts of power being used here by this one, that is crazy. But it's done very quickly. Prompt eval rate, 1,600 tokens per second and 63 tokens per second for the generation. Now that eval rate is really, really nice and very tempting, but I wanna see what happens when you match up GPUs that have the same memory bandwidth. Ooh, this thing is warm. So let's pop this one out and I'm gonna put in the 5080 and they both have 960 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. I kind of like having this open bench, even though it takes up so much space. It's really easy to pop in these GPUs. Also like my little button. There we go. <laughs> All right, the first time it's gonna run, it's gonna load up the stuff into memory. So it's gonna be a little bit longer and that's going extremely slow. I don't think it's even using the 5080. It is detecting in the Nvidia card. 5080, 360 watts maximum. Maybe that's just how slow it is. Oh wow, it is. It's really, really slow. So I'm gonna show you first Olama Run Gemma 3 on both of these and go. Okay, it's pretty quick on the 5080. In fact, it's faster on the 5080, way faster than on the AMD. 175 tokens per second on the 5080, 100 tokens per second, pretty consistently. On the AMD, this is Gemma 3, by the way. This is using 330 watts of power, which is, uh, you know, 
the tracks with the maximum of 360 the card is capable of but that's for the whole system actually so it's not using the full power but look at what happens when we try to run quen 2.5 coder look at that difference there's the amd one just being printed out not super fast but way faster than i could read at least i'm not a speed reader and look how slowly the 5080 is crunching that out. It almost made me think that it's happening on the CPU. Very strange what's happening here. I just can't believe that this is happening on the GPU. Why would one model run extremely fast, but another model run really slow? Eight tokens per second? Definitely odd things happening. Alex, you're an idiot. Huh? You forgot that the 5080 only has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Oh, shoot. He's right. I can't believe I got bit by this when I'm the one that always mentioned this. It's the first thing I mentioned is your model has to fit in the card, in the VRAM. Otherwise, it's going to spill over to the CPU. And that's what Olama does automatically. It doesn't warn you that this is what's going to happen, but that's what happens. Quen 32 billion is a 20 gigabyte model. The 5080 only has 16 gigabytes of VRAM on it. We can visualize this in Windows quite nicely. This is where the 24 gigabytes of VRAM on a much cheaper card really allows you to run larger models faster. So if I run both of these, bam, you can see how much faster the AMD chip is. That's crazy. That's because look at what's happening here. We are using 15 out of 16, pretty much filling up that GPU. That GPU is working hard at the 5080. But look at the CPU. The CPU is going crazy too because some of that model has to live in system memory and be processed on the CPU instead of the GPU. So while our AMD one is already done with 27 tokens per second, pretty decent, this one is still working at it. And it's going to be a while. Yeah, it's going to be gonna be a little while okay no i'm not gonna make you sit through it skip to the end wow 8.02 tokens per second yeah not quite not quite by the way the 5080 two grand amd for the win on this one now i've connected vs code to that olama instance running on this machine over here and i've shown how to do that several times for the members videos by the way if you're not a member consider joining the channel members get extra videos and we get to chat do stuff it's fun Crazy experiments. Write a JavaScript function to multiply two numbers. And boom. Whoa. <laughs> that was really fast. But you can see that that's happening on the GPU here. There are those two little spikes. Write a story. There we go. There's a little story. You can hear the squeak. Maybe you can hear it. I don't know. But there is that spike on the compute on the GPU. And there's our model loaded right there. And it's quite a bit faster, isn't it? I got a bunch of other experiments coming up. And if you want to see the video with the 7900 XTX versus the 9070 XT, yeah, those names are confusing. Watch this video right over here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.